Welcome back to Supremely Black Podcast. Now check this out. Now Target has supposedly lost $9 billion in uh, sales based off of a boycott uh, due to LGBTQ friendly uh, clothing uh, for kids. Uh, There were some swimsuits that had presented uh, transgenders uh, from my understanding on that. So I want you to watch this video and then I'm going to give my additional thoughts on how I think corporate pimping went wrong. Check it out. Retail giant Target says its workers are being targeted. Taking aim on the chain, it says, are conservatives unhappy with pride merchandise prominently displayed in its stores across the country. The retailer says some customers have accosted workers and tipped over displays. I don't understand why they would do that. Target released a statement saying, in part, since introducing this year's collection, we've experienced threats impacting our team members' sense of safety and well-being while at work. Given these volatile circumstances, we are making adjustments to our plans. Those adjustments include removing items that have generated the most confrontational reactions. Target also confirming it has moved its pride merchandise from the front of the store to the back in parts of the South. When it comes to safety, we can never be too cautious these days, and protecting frontline workers is really important to us here at the center. Joe Holland Donor is the CEO of the Los Angeles LGBT Center. While the group is concerned about target worker safety, it also wants the retailer to better explain its decision to move and remove its pride items. The target situation starting to feel similar to what Bud Light is going through. Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever. The beer company initially working with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney, but then abandoning Mulvaney when conservative backlash led to plummeting sales. All right, so... You see exactly what I'm meaning now. It's uh, plumbing and sales, right? So how I look at this is, you know, by, by all means, people are going to do what they what they want to do. You know, I'm not here to judge, uh, push any hate or anything like that, right? You know, like the Bud, Bud, Bud Light situation, uh, you had the transgender uh, that was advertising uh, the rainbow on that. They, they took a loss. And then they backtracked and, and got rid of like the guy mentioned, right? From my understanding and my observation is Target has took $9 billion laws and they're saying it's in like conservative states. So Southern states, and if you're looking at it from a political perspective, that's red states. And it's been more successful in blue areas like liberal areas, things of that nature, right? I think with it being for... In the area of adults, it's fine. Now, where it's sparking a lot of controversy is to see kids closing, like something as small as a 4T being labeled as born this way. Now, by all means, if you're in support, if you're in an ally, I think if you're looking at it from that perspective, it's, it's completely fine. And there is no difference in a uh, girl, little girl having on a future heartbreaker and a, a boy having on ladies' mans if you're looking at, you know, heterosexual content or quote-unquote propaganda that's put on kids' clothing, right? True enough. But when you start to target kids in regards to how people feel like it's an agenda, you would have to realize that in certain areas, it's not going to be successful. Southern areas, as they mentioned in the in the video, is not. Liberal areas and people where may, quote unquote, be considered not as judgmental, then it may be good. What I feel is this. Adults, fine. When it's going towards the kids, I, I'm going to stay away from that. I have several young kids that I, I talk to. I have nephews niece, godchildren, you you name it. I don't, that's not for them. That's just, we'll, we'll leave that alone. But this is why I said this corporate pimping gone wrong, right? If a company of any company loses $9 billion, they're going to backtrack. But this is also, I think this is the most important part with June coming up being Pride Month. I feel as if that 
with this ha with this happening now, it's only going to make areas that are very supportive of this community to go out and buy more. So them speaking out on it ahead of time and pulling it out of areas that wasn't doing well actually is going to benefit them. So watch what I'm saying with this. It's actually more profitable for them to pull it out of areas and take the backlash and still support it in areas that they know they're going to get it. What is that going to make people do that's in support of the community? Go out and buy it. So that's why I say it's corporate pimping because they have the ability to hide their hands in front of the people that support them the most in the conservative areas if that's looking at. But for the areas that are open to it, they're going to come out in droves in support. Target for standing beside them. So that's why I say it's corporate pimping. You got to understand of how they're doing. Some areas and sometimes they're going to come out to the masses and hide their hands. Some areas they don't have to because it's actually respected in those areas. So you just got to watch how Target does. We've seen this happen with Black Lives Matter. Not the political party, but when you have and want companies to support. We've seen it happen with these funds that are supposed to be coming to these black communities from these major corporations that have not been given out. I think it was anywhere from like 10 to 30 percent of it has been given to those areas. Like 33 percent, excuse me, has been given to those areas that were promised by these big corporations. It's just time to hold them accountable. I don't care if it's for black people, uh, trans people, whatever you whatever you support, minority groups. Right. This is just more or less of that. I'm not too focused on if you support this, you do that. No, just keep it out of the kid's face. I'm completely fine with that. But when you look at corporate America and big corporations taking losses, they're going to find a way to hide their hands, give a bullshit apology, and then still be able to profit on the back end. Because believe me, if that if those areas are still able to make profit, they're going to do it and people are going to come out and make it, make it happen. So don't get confused by all the bullshit that they put on the news and try to get this uproar. They've lost nine billion, but they're going to try to find their way to make that money back. Trust and believe that. Let me know your thoughts of this fair file. Long live CC. I'm out.